big fights going on every day. For right now, you don't even need to copy this last sentence. Luke Stratner teaches math at Booker T. Washington. There was so much chaos that the camera like guys, you know, we were all trying to control the chaos, but it wasn't really working. The results of the state test, known as LEAP, were announced in May. Out of 180 students at Booker T, only eight passed. Do you feel Camelot was successful in their half year here? Yeah, let me point out that, uh, that uh, two years ago, 90% of those kids would have dropped out. We have to understand the student population that we're dealing with. It's going to take you more than a year to get them academically to the point where they can pass the eighth grade exit exam. Although very few students pass the exam, most seem to be moving up anyway. To my knowledge, all of the students are going to be socially promoted to ninth grade. Even though this whole year we told them, if you don't pass the LEAP, you're not going to ninth grade. Not even 10% of the students passed the exam, and yet apparently they've been moved up to ninth grade. Why? It, it, first of all, kids can't be moved to ninth grade unless, they're, unless they, they pass the test. But according to three teachers at Booker T. Washington, all students will move on to a regular high school if they take remediation courses over the summer. Vallis says he's doing what makes the most sense. A number of the students, they may have not passed all the subjects on the eighth grade exit exam, but they've gotten good grades, good behavior, good attendance, for all practical purposes, can manage ninth grade work. They may move to, uh, to high schools because each individual high school has its own ninth grade transition program but they're not officially ninth graders and they have to be retested again. We're doing the same thing that's the problem in the first place. They're too old to be in eighth grade, so let's move them to ninth grade. We're basically just putting the problem on somebody else, is basically what we're doing, and basically what the district's doing. In Vallis's view, many of the problems were created because Camelot got a late start halfway into the year. They inherited teachers who did not want to be there, uh, uh, and. Uh, and, and some teachers who shouldn't have been anywhere. And, and of course, you know, by next year, that, that, uh, that problem will be solved because Camelot will not only be running the school, but they will have staffed the school. On the second floor. Luke Stratner has applied to teach at Booker third. T. Washington again next year. So has Jeffrey Berman. Neither has heard yet whether they will return. M-E-D. Make it past tense, Jonathan. Vallis has extended Camelot's contract for another year. And he's expanding Booker T to include overage sixth and seventh grade students. But even if Camelot is successful, Antoine Duplessis is not likely to benefit. He dropped out in January. And when we visited his home in June, it appeared to have been abandoned. Next year, it will be harder for a young man like Antoine to disappear. We're converting our entire a safety and security force into a force of school resource officers. Ladies, let's go! They will play a counseling role. They'll be contacting the home. Large numbers will be visiting the home to find out where the kids are and to get them into school. As for Brittany Jackson, in February, she took the test she needed to pass to graduate, the one she had failed so many times previously. She made it. In June, Brittany, now 20, finally got to walk across the stage, diploma in hand. Dignity, dignity. You just feel relieved after you get a high school diploma because I know that my dreams won't stop. My dreams don't go fall. Although the overall dropout rate remains high, more seniors managed to graduate at the end of Vallis's first year. But he isn't satisfied. Even with that improvement, the scores and the graduation rates are so low that, uh, you know, we have an incredibly long way to go. Paul Vallis has said that he intends to stay in New Orleans for one more year, two at the most. You can download a podcast of an extended interview with Paul Vallis, and you can ask John Merrill questions about his series. Just go to pbs.org. Thank <laughs> you.